Hey guys, Paul here from Mantra TV, and uh, it was my birthday yesterday, and I got the uh, Roxio HD Pro, and uh, the blue Yeti microphone with the pop filter going with it, so uh, yeah, decided why not uh, make a uh, video of Call of Duty for my uh, first video with it, so um, this is a uh, 125 kill gameplay on Nuketown, I got it a long time ago. I had that clip waiting until the, I was able to either get the uh, Roxio from someone for their birthday or if I could buy it myself. And I didn't have enough money to buy it myself, even though it was a pretty good 120 bucks, um, which isn't bad, except you need component cables and an HDMI. But other than that, I mean, it's not that bad of a price. So, uh, yeah. So the uh, topic that I thought about talking about today is uh, the Xbox One versus the PS4. Now I know they both have uh, different type of, uh, their own types of capture cards that are built in with it, which is kind of cool, so you know, but it also hurts the companies like Roxio and, P and Hall Polish and stuff like that. But I guess it's kind of cool, I believe it's like 50 bucks for each of them to uh, buy your own uh, thing that goes along with it. So, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, but in general, I don't know too much about the PS4 guys, but that's generally because I have the Xbox 360. And there's no stereotypes against it. I, Brennan and I are two people who don't get into fights between the Xbox 360 and the PS3 because they're all pointless. Both systems are good for their own reasons, so I'm not, I never argue about stuff like that. Um, but what I can say is I'm hoping PS4 is good because right now I'd rather buy a NES instead of a uh, Xbox One um, for a couple of reasons. One of them, main reason, would be the fact that if you want to play co-op, you're gonna have to pay an extra, my best guess would be 10 or 15 bucks just for another account on your Xbox One to play with you. They have a thing where you have to pay the initial, and my guess again is that it will be 60 bucks, maybe even 70 for each game, um, but you'll have to pay the initial price, and then if you want anyone else to play it, they have to pay an extra fee, which is like 10 or 15 dollars. So it literally makes it recognize um, that you are the person who bought the game, and it's stupid because you can't just play offline for a little bit co-op you have to go online before you uh, uh before you confirm that you know you're the one with the game so literally you can never play co-op or with another friend without them having to pay the extra fee which is stupid because now there's no borrowing games i mean you can borrow the game but what use is that going to be it's going to be 15 bucks for you which i mean i guess it isn't that bad but hey on xbox 360 you just borrowed it from the friend played it for a while gave it back so you know i think that's kind of stupid um that actually no not kind of i think that is extremely stupid and that's one of the reasons that there is no way in hell um i'm getting the xbox one at least around launch um I feel like, I ho well, I hope that other people don't get the Xbox One, because if a bunch of people buy the Xbox One with this feature, it will show Xbox, you know, hey, we are all okay with this idea, and, you know, uh, it just encourages them more to, you know, take more of our money, so I hope... Uh, in your launch, not too many people who obviously aren't like the huge gamers who like buy every single console. I'm hoping there aren't a bunch of people who, you know, buy the Xbox One because then Microsoft might come up and just say, you know, guys, this is a stupid idea. We shouldn't do this. We should have it the way it worked for Xbox 360 because if it worked so well for Xbox 360 with just having people buy a $60 game, you know, why why can't you just keep it that way? Why do you have to make it worse? So that's the thing about the 360 guys. I don't know too much, or I'm sorry, not 360, the Xbox One. Um, uh, not too much I don't know about the PS4, but if I do get that, it'll be a long time after it comes out, maybe a year and a half or two. So yeah, um, I don't really have 
big plans for, um, you know, uh, buying the uh, Xbox One or PS4, at least for a while. So, um, uh, the, uh, I wanted to talk more about what I got. So, the Blue Yeti, I love this thing already. It is so helpful. It, um, it doesn't really hold the, uh, uh, it doesn't really hold the uh, pop filter well, so you have to kind of find an area for the pop filter to adjust around, which is kind of annoying. Unless there's one that, like, blue makes, but I don't believe they do. But, uh, if, if you really can't use a pop filter where you are, um, there's not too much of a difference. The reason for the pop filter is just to clear everything out a bit more for yourself, so... If you can't use the pop filter where you're sitting or where you're set up, it doesn't really matter. It's not too much of a difference, but for 15 bucks, it can help a bit. So um, that's why I got the. I asked for the pop filter. I got um, the Blue Yeti mic, which again I love. It's got settings on the mic that help a lot. Um, it uh, rotates around very well. Um, you can put in the cord at different ways, so you can pretty much have the mic any way you want so I love it so far um and the Roxio uh I like that too it comes with the own editing stuff it comes with you know the um what's it called with uh like it comes with it doesn't uh, as I said earlier it doesn't come with the component cables but that's not too much of a problem especially since most people have extra component cables usually and sometimes in HDMI, if you can't, don't buy those $25 ones at like, I don't know where, maybe like Best Buy or something. But there are some stores who sell, you know, them for like 15, 20, 25 bucks for an HDMI cable. Go to Five Below. I got a while ago, I got two for $5. And they are not knockoffs of anything. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're not knockoffs. They were completely fine. So you can get those from Five Below. And I'm more than definite that they still have that there because it's a uh, probably a very uh, wanted thing that Five Below has. So, um, yeah, so the Roxio is working out well um, and uh, planning to start to record a lot of stuff with it. So that's good. Um, I also, for my birthday, I got the uh, Wii U, but sadly it's on back order right now. So. They're guessing it's going to come in on Wednesday, and today is Saturday, so don't know if this video will be uploaded on Sunday or Saturday, so probably today on Saturday, but, um, so yeah, uh, once that comes in, my, uh, idea is to, uh, start some, like, Nintendo Land Let's Play, and, um, when Brandon comes here on the 14th. Uh, we can start doing the new Super Mario Bros. Wii U Let's Play, probably. And it's going to end up being like an alternating thing, kind of whenever I go to his house, we can do Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, and then when he's here, we can do Super Mario Bros. Wii U. So my best guess is right now, if you haven't noticed, our schedule for Super Mario Bros. Wii is uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. And I believe we're still with that. Um, and we have 18 episodes coming. So that's already a solid nine weeks worth of, you know, content. And my best guess is it might end up being, you know, New Super Mario Bros. on Tuesday, or for Wii. And then New Super Mario Bros. Wii U on Thursdays. So, um, but I'm not sure. Gotta talk that over with Brandon. And, uh, yeah. So, um, also, other stuff I got for my birthday, just so I can toss it out there, I got a, uh, cool armband for baseball, I got a fungo bat for baseball, um, but most of you probably don't know what that is. It just, uh, helps you, you know, it, it's got more of a pop in the bat, it's, it's not a legal bat to use in games, but, uh, it helps you, uh, work on, like, where to hit the ball and stuff like that, so... Um, that's good, uh, and I got a, uh, nah, I actually said that already, so, um, yeah, so I got the pop filter, the HD Pro, and the Blue Yeti, and that is 
already 10 times more than I thought I would get. So, yeah, that was amazing. So, um, that's pretty much all I've got to say today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Um, I'll leave the rest of this gameplay up for you guys to watch. Once again, I go 125 and I believe 31. Um, I'll check it out, I think, a few times during this game for you guys to see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this, please like it. And uh, leave a comment, subscribe, favorite, you know the stuff. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Paul from Muncher TV, and peace out.
Directive has been